Well, this morning we are proud to bring you yet another Meet the Mayor segment. Today, though, we have the privilege of inviting Mayor Bill Ingold from the city of Paxton, but alongside him, you'll see Stan Foster, who's a contractor. He's also working on a replica of the city's water tower. They're excited to share this with us. And so, Mayor Ingold, let's just start with you. You were saying that this is something that, I mean, kind of historical in the making, but walk us through what this means to the community. Well, it is. It, it, Paxton was actually formed in 1859. And in 1887, uh, they commissioned a company to come in and build an 80-foot tall tower behind City Hall and put a 20-foot tall tank on top of that that held 60,000 gallons of water. And then the water was distributed. It was actually pumped up there. And then the water was distributed through cypress pipes into the business district and into the residential district. And this is something that's pretty unheard of back in 1887 because most of the smaller towns didn't get anything until 1930s. In that area in there so Paxton had the had the water tower going on and it was really really neat and very unique to the city and then later on uh, as time went in 1947 to 48 the tank started to leak a little bit so they commissioned another company to come in and just take the tank off but left the tower and the tower was was, was, was is still there and by the way, this is not a city funded project. This is a project that is funded by the Paxton Foundation. And so they have, uh, the building in back uh, was a uh, was just called the pump house and it was a storage place and just kind of a catch all and it was in danger of being knocked down. And the, and the foundation stepped in in the middle eighties, I think, and said, hey, we need to save this and, and do something with it. And this actually houses the uh, the Ford County Historical Museum right now, which is cool all by itself. Absolutely. But the tower has been there, and so it's it, this has been in the works for a long time. But we've got some images because, Stan, you've got the honor of working on a replica. Talk about kind of what goes into this, what folks at home can get excited about. It's a, a, it's a lot of planning. Uh, the, what got started on this, I was doing a talk up at the Paxton Historical Society, which I'm a member of, and. I was talking about the rifle I'd made. I made a Kentucky long rifle for the city sesquicentennial and I was just, they wanted me to talk about it. So I was talking about it and while I was in there, there was a little model of a tower. A guy by the name of Charlie Withers had made it, the water tower and the tank. And, and I'm just sitting there looking at that, man, this, this tower needs a tank on it. Little did I know that was the whole idea of the Paxton <laughs> Foundation. So I'm kind of blaming myself for not knowing that. But, so I go home, went out to the shop just to myself, started getting on the computer just saying what 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 would this take and I started researching and I got uh, googling and stuff and I got into the Library of Congress and mm -hmm. found the actual Paxton water tower and all the original drawings and I thought okay I was able to scale off the taper of the tower the size of the tank 20 foot and all that and I thought okay uh, I was taking measurements off my set um, off a uh, uh, geo earth on my phone and I'd estimated at 20 feet and actual measurements up there was right on within an inch so it was close. So anyway, I, I made the drawings, had a nice drawing. It took a couple days making and I, next step was before I told anybody, I had to go to uh, my insurance guy. This, his name is Victor Johnson. I said, this is top secret. I, said, I showed him the picture. <laughs> says, I, I've got a crazy idea of doing this. The, his office is right below the tower. So I says, I, I want to put this tank up on the tower, talk about it. So, so checked out the liability was okay so then next step was I met Judy Popel and she couldn't wait to go tell Roy Spire who was kind of the initiator of the Paxton Foundation and, and the rest is history and it got a set of legs on it that uh, are about wore out. <laughs> well, so Stan, I mean folks at home are now wondering what this will look like visually. I mean a water tower isn't just a visual thing to look at, it serves its community but talk about how this replica will, will serve the community. It'll be a chance to kind of... Well I was thinking this thing glowing and white with a nice a silver galvanized lid like they have on like a grain bin lid and it, it's just going to be glowing with lights and and I thought that's going to be a crown on the town and that stuck I told Royce Byer about it and it stuck like mud on the wall that name so we have shirts made up that says <laughs> crown say, on the do town. Do to show? Yep, In fact, you, that, you bet. This is that this was is actually the sweatshirt, the and they're selling these sweatshirts to help defray some of the costs. Yeah, signs and okay. designs in Paxton, or I took the drawing into them, and they, uh, so Clarissa, uh, made it up, There's and uh, it's just yeah. they're excellent. Okay, and so as we're showing this, kind of, if, if either Mayor Ingold or Stan, if you want to touch on this, so when can we expect to see this kind of come into fruition? I know it takes time, but well, it takes time, and I'm, I'm going to let Stan. Okay, please. Take this. Yeah. Well, 
the the white part there is the octagonal base. It's okay. it's it's larger than you realize. It's 28 foot across the flats of the octagon. It's like a you know stop. Uh, it's like a stop sign each side. <laughs> uh, there's a post on each corner. Uh, that is built and is stored at the farm machinery shed right now. I'm now building the curved sections for the tank. There's going to be eight curved sections, 20 foot diameter. Uh, the cypress is uh, coming up from Louisiana as I speak. Wow. Uh, it's going to be unloaded here in a few hours and. Um, I'll be applying the siding and painting and giving it several coats and uh, it's a lot, a lot of work. But uh, <laughs> do you have a team or is it just all you? <laughs> I, I get a team to get out. <laughs> I get a team out there to help uh, load the thing because it's a, okay. it's a monster. I had to get giant, like casket rollers, <laughs> um, to put on my workbench. I had to extend my workbench to 28 foot. And <laughs> when you walked in the shop, is you had to walk around this whole thing. It's like building a boat in the garage. And uh, but I had to get everything out on my trailer, and then now it's reassembled in the in the tool shed. So I'll I'll be fitting the rails up there, and then later in the uh, early summer I'll be assembling it right underneath the brick tower, uh, temporarily, and it's going to be built the whole unit. And uh, uh, my cousin Phil Foster is going to come in and do the grain bin roof on top, and then um, they're probably going to have a guy paint the Paxson sign on it. And, uh, when this thing is lit up at night, it's just going to look phenomenal because it, it's a diamond in the sky. I mean, sky, it's, it's, right? the tower is really cool itself. They've got lights going up, and it's got like medieval windows in the brick, Ooh. Gothic style, and it's just a gorgeous <laughs> building by itself. It just needs the crown on it. <laughs> well, and I, I just wanted to ask you: Is this the first time you've done a replica project like this, or do you? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so you're going to get your hands and, and, officially and, brand new, dirty, and, and doing the first project. of anything. <laughs> yeah. Is a big motivator for me because, um, like, I the first time I ever did a curved stairway, I, the, I, people would say, "Well, you've never built a curved stairway before." Well, that's exactly why it, that motivated me. So, uh, I've never built a, a city water tank. Probably never will again. This is probably <laughs> one of my last projects. <laughs> you never know. Mayor Ingle may have other yeah. ideas for you in the future. So, and, and this thing, this will not hold water. Okay, it's that's just it's just going to be uh, a beacon, a, a, yes. a show place for, as you will. And we've always talked about reasons why you want to come to Paxton. And so we're, we're doing some things in the downtown to kind of make it look like 1959 Paxton. And uh, we're seeing some success with that. And now with this, it's going to be right behind City Hall. And it's, it's just really, really spectacular. I'm just, I couldn't be happier, couldn't be prouder. And, and Stan's going to do a fine job on this thing. It's going to be great. All right, well, Mayor Ingold and Stan, that's all the time we have, but looking forward to the fruition of this project, and we can't thank you both enough for the time you gave us. Glad for having us here. All righty, looking thank forward you. to, of course, all the money that will be raised to support that, that project as well. And, of course, stay tuned to our website. We have more Meet the Mayor segment interviews that you can enjoy at your convenience all on our website, WCIA.com. We'll be back.